there is a gene called p53 it's the most important tumor suppressor gene so if you remove p53 in a cell human cell or in a human being there's a very good chance that the person will end up with some kind of cancer same thing happens in fish that's how you model cancer studies in the yes. fish yes. in cancer the primary tumor is not the only problem because if the primary tumor were to be the only problem people would get rid of it and get an organ transplant right right it's so the that's not spread easy. of the tumor it is a spread of the tumor which makes it a deadly disease so there is no way people would know whether the tumor has started moving in the body and that process is called metastasis if you develop a drug which can prevent metastasis that could be an anti cancer drug because when it cancer moves to a different part it needs uh, blood vessels mm-hmm. for oxygen for nutrients so if you can stop the formation of blood vessels that is also a good anti cancer strategy right. so these strategies can be very well employed in fish so we have some transgenic fish where we have a green fluorescence protein which is obtained from jellyfish mm-hmm. and by transgenic approach we can get it integrated in the zebra fish genome to make them glow and make them glow only in the blood vessels wow right because we are interested in looking only at the blood vessels do you guys have such samples yes we have a sample wow. my question here is <coughs> so when you study cancer mm. is even the metastasis the spread of cancer cells is that also similar to human cells yes, like yes. how Actually, it spreads in human there's a technique called uh, zeno transplantation external organ transplantation yes zebra fish is a good model for that they are transparent so you can see the movement of the cells you can take human cancer cells which are highly metastatic and you can inject into the zebra fish you can see the movement of the cells suppose you are trying to discover a drug which is supposed to stop this spread you can have two systems one without the drug the other with the drug so if the drug is really effective next day you would see that cells are still localized in that place right okay. so you can see that clearly in zebra fish very clearly yes Thank you.